Hello friends. In the first chapter, geometrical figures, we will learn basically three things: angles, circle, and vertex and sides of geometrical figures like rectangle, square, and triangle. So let's start. Angles. You have been observed uh, while you are playing in garden. There is angle between the slides and ground. You can you have observed the angles between the pillars and ground. If you can see in this figure, there are many angles you can observe. If you look at any house or or even your own home, you can observe some angles over there also. Like angle made by this wall with ground, angle made by these steps. So angles can be observed everywhere. Okay. We want to learn there are three types of angles. First is right angle. Whenever a vertical line makes an angle with an horizontal it's called right angle if the distance between these two tips is going to decrease so we can say the distance between these two tips is less than this right angle it is called as acute angle if the distance between these two tips is greater than right angle then it's called as obtuse angle i hope you have understood what is a right angle what is acute angle and what is obtuse angle circle you know how to draw a circle you can take a small bowl or a bangle and just put a pencil around its circumference you can draw a circle in a circle if you draw any line like this this is called as a chord this is a center of a circle if this chord pass through this center of the circle then this is called as diameter if we draw a line from center of a circle to any point on the circumference this is called as a radius so here we learn about the circles is that the circle then this is chord then this is called as diameter and this is the radius so you can say a radius is a half of a diameter so let's move to the next topic that is geometrical figures in geometrical figures we will learn a rectangle so i'm going to draw your rectangle so two horizontal lines and two vertical lines makes an rectangle so opposite line opposite lines are with the same length this is called as a rectangle wherever two lines are meeting it's called as a vertex so i'm going to name this rectangle a b c and d so we can say there are four vertex a b c and d and the sides of rectangles are like ab bc 
then CD and then this AD like this so opposite sides of rectangle as I said are equal length and all angles of rectangles are right angle like this these angles are right angle and rectangle is also called as a right angled quadrilateral the next figure is a square let me draw a square for you here so what's that makes difference of square and a rectangle in a rectangle the opposite sides are equal length while a square all sides are equal length I'm going to give you the name of this rectangle P Q R and S so how many vertex will I have to rectangle 4 1 2 3 and 4 and sides of course yes 4 so let me write these sides PQ then QR RS and PS you can write SP as well and yes all the angles are right angle so friends let's move on the last part that is a triangle let me draw a triangle for you this is the name P Q and R so triangle all the lengths might be equal or sometimes not equal triangle like can be like this L M and N a triangle has three vertices Q R P here L M and N let's write sides for this triangle yes q r r p and p q and for this triangle yes l m m n and l in this video we learn angles circle vertex and sides of a rectangle square and triangle in angle we learn there are three types of angle right angle acute angle and obtuse angle in circle we learn what is called diameter and radius in geometrical figures we learn in rectangle there are four sides opposite sides are equal length and it is a right angle in square four sides are equal length and angle is right angle in triangle there are three vertices and three sides to the triangle thank you for watching this video in next video we will learn the chapter number two that is number work